you must have already heard about clickup it can help organize your life now what is clickup's ai it is something that can do a variety of tasks this video is made in partnership with clickup because uh, i needed some ai credits to show what it is capable of and they gladly gave me a few credits to use so uh, i can learn and then i can also share my learnings with you the premise of this video is that you are already aware of clickup's uh, basic uses uh, you have created tasks documents and goals and you are wondering how to use clickup ai in tandem with all these things so if this sounds like you then you are in the right place we'll see some use cases now so let's dive right in before we go any further let's say this up front and straight clickup ai uses a variety of uh, ai models to provide their ai enabled features within clickup they primarily use open ai's uh, chat gpt4 turbo at the time of making this video and they have a licensing in place to ensure that open ai does not access our data for training purposes our data being a big concern in today's world of ai i wanted to lay this straight up front with that let's see how to access ai in clickup for the starters ai in clickup is known as clickup brain i like the name here because it has ai in brain so it's cool you can start using clickup brain ai from anywhere in clickup now going forward i'll just say clickup ai okay so you can start using it from anywhere within clickup just use the command uh, the ask ai here you can type it in here or simply click on this button ask ai if you are a fan of keyboard shortcuts like me then you can use alt k on windows to quickly open up ask ai and start chatting with clickup ai now let's put clickup brain to use or clickup ai to use at the outset you will see that ai provides us with the pre-made prompt examples with which we can ask about the docs we have in our workspace and ask about the tasks and then write documents emails and uh, notes using ai or create templates for future use you can also customize the responses by choosing your role here the context will adjust depending on which page you are in set clickup for example if you are on a doc like this then you can see that the dialog box adapts and gets ready to provide you answers for this selected doc since you're using clickup you would have created some tasks already so you can put that clickup ai to good use by asking to list out all the tasks created and closed by you or what tasks you currently have open if you have due dates and priorities in place you can also check about what to work on next in your workflow now let us see how to create sub tasks to do that you'll have to open a task so let me hit s to open up the search command and then let us open this one youtube membership setup so in here first i'm going to write a description using ai let's see that first before creating a sub task because uh, creating a sub task ai will also use the context within the summary and the description of the actual task so what would you like to write ai about youtube membership setup let's see so once you generate the summary if you like it click on insert and that inserts it, this uh, text into your description and then now i'm going to create subtasks so on the subtasks tab i can click on suggest subtasks cool so i'm okay with these five subtasks that ai has generated so we can create this one and then add this to the main task so this way we can use ai to create sub tasks as well depending on the contextual title and description the more project management we do the more we know that we tend to create duplicate tasks so how do we find duplicate tasks using ai just click on this and then go into list summary so this is the screen that you might see so we want to choose the list first and click on this advanced options if it is not already open and then scroll down to choose suggest duplicates check this box and then click on generate which will then suggest the duplicate tasks that in the list might have this will not only potentially save time but also clean up your list so that there are no duplicate tasks and this is especially useful if you have more members and uh, duplicate tasks are assigned to two two different people so this is something that the admin that the owner can work on on a recurring basis next we are going to see how to summarize a list using ai i'm going to hit alt k to bring this pop up and uh, go into this list summary 
and within this choose a list you want to summarize and there are options here to choose from like the executive summary and then uh, key efforts and initiatives and let's also bring up themes of the tasks okay i want to keep the re remaining things as default and click on generate now since i have chosen my role as a business owner this has given me a bird's eye view of the overall tasks within that particular list that i had chosen so as you can see it provides the executive summary of the ongoing tasks and key efforts and initiatives and if there are any overdue tasks or any tasks at risk which have been flagged and then finally the themes of the tasks so the themes here as you can see quite naturally matches with what i had chosen for so which is pretty impressive and that's how i can create summaries of any lists within my workspace now let me try another cool thing here if you have a vague idea of a resource link a hyperlink within some task that you created so you can just ask ai and it gives you the link let's see this one okay i had another uh, task with a link uh, already added so i'm going to ask the url for this aws certification task that i created okay so now let's see if clickup ai brings it up about You see that? So it gives me the tasks. Uh, there's a link within this task. You can see that this is the task here. When I open it, you can see there is a link within this. In the, it's in the description. Let's now see another feature where we can also find out any stale or overdue tasks within the list within your workspace. So here is a ready-made question, but you can also type this in into your chat box window here. What are my overdue tasks? So let us find. It's going to search the entire workspace data. and it gives me a list of some of the overdue tasks as you can see these are all past due so taking the due date field ai generates a list of all the overdue tasks now what about the stale tasks stale tasks are something which did not have any progress or any update to it for a long time so let's now ask if there are any stale tasks So that gives me a list of all these stale tasks that haven't been updated for a long time. We can also employ ClickUp Brain as your writing assistant because the AI is ubiquitous these days. It's more often uh, known to write content for us. So ClickUp AI is no different and we can ask it to write content for us or improve your existing write up or ask it to create a template to turn repetitive work into templates. All you need to do is just to describe a workflow specify the type of template voice tone and choose how much creative you want the response to be and they'll build a time saving template for you so segueing into the templates thing we can also see that you can you can create templates using this as i just mentioned so let's call it like a tasks kpi so once done you can click on this create button and create a doc or a task which can be saved as a template you just click on that and click on save as template and give a template name or uh, you can also alternatively add description and tags and choose whom you want to share with and if you want a public link and then save the template so you cannot read your prompts or the results again at least at the time of making this video until you ask clickup ai again which will use up my existing free ai credits Of course if you are a paid user you can get unlimited ai usage so yeah now this was just my um, uh, problem with the credits which was given to me to evaluate what clickup ai is capable of but if you are a paid user for clickup ai i think which is what the case it has to be uh, then it's going to be unlimited ai for you uh, also clickup ai is not yet available on the mobile app at the time of making this video it's in the works though and may be available soon for mobile users too so if you to have any feedback or opinion such as these i found this feedback option helpful where you can create your feedback or vote for existing feature requests you can also see what's cooking in their roadmap here now speaking of the ai billing and usage currently there's no option to enable ai tools in your clickup workspace only for specific users and some users might not need this feature at all I work as an independent creator and I am the only one using ClickUp 
so it makes sense but if you're working in a team and want this feature to be activated for just few users instead of paying for every user then you may have to wait as currently ai is enabled for all the users in your workspace speaking of billing for ai users unlike other features ai is not baked into the plans set that uh, you can get even with the other paid plans the free forever plan may give you some 100 or so free ai users but to use it more you need to pay additionally for the ai feature and enable it as a paid add-on even if you're already in any of the paid plans this means in addition to the per month usage we pay we need to pay for clickup brain use separately this price may change depending on when you watch this video you can go to settings and then the billing page to get this add-on into your workspace with clickup ai being the logical addition to this uh, massive data that i have created like a second brain i would like to say that ai is still evolving within clickup and there's so much yet to come so at the time of making this video this is what i have wanted to show in terms of clickup ai it has lots to offer but if you're a paid user for clickup ai you will get unlimited ai users and you can just play around with it and uh, make use of the ai within clickup where you have your second brain built in if you wanted to take your general clickup usage to next level i created a list of some time saving tips just for you here i'll see you there until then please keep creating because your success is just around the corner